Hey, hey, Monday brings Animal House, and uh, yeah, that's me in there somewhere. It's just my rig. There we go. Hey, Dr. Kevin Fitzgerald is here to tell us about bees, and he's got his gear on, too. Now, you are uh, a beekeeper as well, right? Well, uh, for the last few years, for the last few years. And, and so, I mean, what a, what a great thing. It's, it's, uh, it's peaceful, and, and it's, it's, uh, it's nice, you know, getting honey. Uh, is a you know perfect food. It's manufactured by nature and harvested by insects. Now you do know that bees can sting too, and most people run from bees. Why would people want to have bees at the house? Why would you want to say be an urban beekeeper? They do a great thing in pollination of many of the different plants and flowers that we, that we like, many of the different plants that we eat. So so bees are are uh, 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 they, they do a, they do a great job. Without bees, I think would in, in a short time would. It make the world a very less interesting place. What do you need to be a beekeeper? Obviously you need <clears throat> bees, but you need gear like we're wearing, the, 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 the protective gear that you need for your hands, your face. Do you need a full suit? What does it take? Well, well you do. I, I think after a while you can, you can do it uh, uh, without gloves. You know, your bees, I think, get more and more used to you. They're, they're easier in the beginning of, of, the, of the summer working with the, the different queens, uh, you know, the queens in my hives died. And we had to put in some new mark queens, and and so it's 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 an amazing, amazing uh, experience. I think if you have the time to do it for you know not uh, too expensive, you can you can do it. Well, and how much honey can you generate? I mean, is it about making honey? What else is it about? Well, it's peaceful. You're working with your smoker and and working with the bees and and keeping them calm. That that calms them down. And, the smoker and calms it, them. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can work with them. Makes them easier to work with, right? And and then uh, uh, so they're they're uh, uh, it, it it's a real I I think it's a I don't know other people play golf I mean you, there's a <laughs> lot of different things you can do. I how, think. how many how many bees take how long to make this much honey so to speak? Well, it depends on how warm it is. It depends on how the how the uh, summer is for for pollen, and it depends on on how well your hive is doing. But but for for several. Uh, you know, f f a couple of the hives that I have, you, you can get uh, several pounds of honey. So you really can. It can make all, <clears throat> yeah, and yeah. That you don't have to potty train them. But you do worry about them. I mean, do they stay right there where you want them to stay, or do you worry about them taking off and setting up shop elsewhere? Well, they, they'll, they'll move if, if uh, things aren't optimal for them. They'll move if the hive gets too crowded, and, and then they'll, they'll split and then swarm out to another one. Uh, there's there's lots of literature. Oh, you brought about this it. for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you always bring some book that ends in the title for dummies for me. I appreciate that. Other great books for bees, and, and so I I think you know uh, it, it's an amazing amazing thing. You know the the when you watch when I watch my bees at work, you know there there's no. Uh, Everybody's useful, you know, there's no slackers. I gotta let you know that Kevin did bring some bees in and right now they're all in his car because Yoda <laughs> knocked over the jar. So the bees are in the car, so I'm looking forward Yoda's to your in, ride home. Yoda's in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pull over on Logan. I couldn't believe the lid was off. I, <clears throat> catching those bees last night, and and then uh, you know, uh, you know, being so careful with them all night, and then you know, knocks more bees in the doghouse. Good luck sorting that out. Now, everybody, if you want to learn more about it, obviously uh, you can find more information right here at kwgn.com. Thanks, Kevin. It's great. Thanks to for see all you me. do for animals. All righty, Kim.